New at 4, public transportation is rebounding after taking a hit during the pandemic. MTS reports a significant jump in ridership since March. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas tells us why MTS is seeing that spike. More and more people are catching a ride on public transportation. You can't get nowhere with $5, $6. No, it's impossible. Margaret Gano has been taking public transportation for years and explains it became even more of a benefit when gas prices skyrocketed. She says taking the trolley has saved her thousands on gas and allows her to spend more on other things. On groceries, on um, just about everything. This fiscal year, trolley ridership is up more than 50% and bus ridership is up more than 40% compared to last year. It's good news for MTS, especially after ridership plunged during the pandemic. This definitely means that people are going back to their schools, they're going back in person at work, and they're choosing transit to be able to do that. We're hitting about 200,000 trips on weekdays. They say ridership nearby schools and businesses increased, especially along the new blue line that takes riders up to University City. Youth ridership jumped 34% in the first month the Youth Opportunity Pass rolled out. It's a pilot program that allows people 18 and younger to ride the trolley for free. And we are now about to start a school. We're going to go back to school, so these numbers are most likely going to stay up. As for Cano, she will continue to ride the trolley and save money, especially with rent and food increases. It's nice because, you know, they make a stop and every place that they have to stop, you know, and it's good. Um, you're not fighting with traffic and you just kick back and relax. Sierra and Cenas, ABC 10 News. A day pass is $6 or $72 per month.